Wait, what? Did I just turn a basic t-shirt mock-up into this? And before you ask, no expensive camera gear, no video editor, no freelance costs, just AI. Another new AI feature that enables you to create professional and attractive cinema-like videos that are amazing for marketing purposes. I always prefer to use videos of my designs while posting on Etsy or even social media. That's where Hexfield comes in, and specifically their new Cinema Studio feature. Now, Hexfield is quickly becoming one of the fastest growing AI platforms out there, and for good reason. They are on a mission to be the most creator-friendly platform for AI video generation, and they are also known as one of the cheapest AI platforms available, which is huge for us entrepreneurs watching our budgets. But here's what makes Cinema Studio special. This isn't just another AI video tool that gives you random, inconsistent results. This is a cinema-first workflow that is designed specifically to give you film quality, professional shots, the kind that make your products look premium, and stop people mid-scroll. So today I'm going to take you inside Hexfield's AI and show you my complete workflow using Cinema Studio. We are talking hands-on screen recording, step-by-step -step process, creating actual product videos you can use for your print-on-demand store, social media ads, and even product listings. I'll show you how to create cinematic product videos in literally minutes, break down the costs versus traditional methods, and give you practical tips you can implement today. So whether you're selling on Etsy, running a Shopify store, or promoting merch on social media, this workflow is going to transform your marketing game. So let's jump in. Now let's go to hexfield.ai and do a practical example on how to use the Cinema Studio feature. So you can access the Cinema Studio through the shortcut that is on your home screen, on your Hexfield home screen, or you can access it from the upper menu by simply pressing on the image button and then you can press on the Cinema Studio image, which will take you directly to the, in the Cinema Studio dashboard. Here you get to see a prompt window where you can enter your prompt and switch between image and video on the same platform or on the same window. So on the right side, you can also toggle between different camera types. So you can switch between any of the camera or the lens or the focal lens. And to make it simple, the focal lens is the most important technical factor when it comes to photography and videography because it directly controls how much of the scene is captured, how objects appear in size and distance. So to make it simple, if you increase the focal length, length you get a closer shot. It's like it gives you proper control of your camera when it comes to creating videos with AI. So for the first example, I'm going to choose the Panavision Millennium EXL2 camera, the Petzval lens, and the focal length on 14 millimeter. So now let's go to the prompt box and I'm going to upload the image of my design. So I'm going to upload the design on a t-shirt mock-up. Now, as you can see, the image is added to the prompt box. I want to create a character first wearing this design. So I'm going to type Santa wearing this t-shirt design and wearing eyeglasses, looking into the camera, have body visible and muscled and press on generate. And these are the images that I got. Nice images with my design perfect design placement so these images look really nice however i prefer to change the eyeglasses i'm going to change it to sunglasses instead of eyeglasses i think it matches my design better my design vibe says better be nice i want my santa to be tough so i'm going to change the focal length and the lens this time to Ari Signature Prime, focal len length to 24 and the camera to Panavision Millennium and then press on generate. And here are the new four results. Also close 
view of my Santa. Looks tougher with my design on his t-shirt. I like the sunglasses and I like how it looks, how he looks. So I'm going to download this image. Now let's go to the Cinema Studio dashboard and this time we're going to switch to video and press on the start frame and add the downloaded image of Santa. Now you can see that the downloaded image has been added as the first frame or the start frame. Now I'm going to enter my prompt. So basically we have created an image on the Cinema Studio dashboard and then we are going to convert it to a cinema video. So my my um, prompt now says Santa looking angrily into the camera while pointing at it and saying you better be nice just to add some action to the scene i'm going to make him grab a, a wooden table and smash it to the floor and you can see that i'm leaving the move the uh, the time frame as uh, to 10 seconds and if you press on the movements button you get to choose the camera movement and you can see many examples that you can choose from so you can choose between zoom in camera, zoom out camera, handheld camera follows. So this gives you great control over creating your uh, video scene with more cinematic view depending on the camera of movement, movement style. So there are many camera of movements. You can keep trying and see which one would fit your scene. So I'm going to choose the handheld and press on generate. And after a couple of minutes, I get to see all the four generated videos and this is you better how be the nice. videos look like you better be nice this is a nice result the design looks clear on the t-shirt the and the animation looks very realistic so i'm going to download this one now let's head back to the cinema studio dashboard you can switch between the images and the videos that are created on the cinema studio from the upper tab now i have added my Santa image to the prompt box and I'm going to write cinematic low angle close up scene of Santa coming out of a burning building with a baseball bat in one of his hands and I'm going to change the camera settings to Ari Alexa 35 and the lens to Canon K35 and leave the focal length to 14 as is and press on the generate button and after a couple of minutes i get these four results you can also play with the upper bar to change the number of images on your screen the visuals so this is the best image that shows the design on the t-shirt of the santa i'm going to download it so it's just a shot for now and i'm going to use it to create a video scene so i'm going to go back and press on the video tab and upload the image as the start frame and this time i'm going to choose the movement of the camera to be static and i'm going to write handheld close up of santa explosion erupts behind him cinematic hyperrealism and press on generate remember now we are creating the video out of the image and these are the four results that we got amazing results cinematic and very realistic result of santa with the design with a burning building behind him and the static camera so i'm going to download this one and the second result is amazing it's, it is even better very realistic explosion behind santa so all four results are perfect so let's do one more thing with this same image or with the same first frame let's change the camera movement to handheld without changing anything else or maybe let's change it to to the drone shot so it's the same prompt and i'm going to press on generate it's only the camera angle is changed and here are the best result out of the four videos that were generated very nice drone shot of the burning building now for the following example let's go back to the cinema studio dashboard and while pressing on the image tab and having our santa attached to the prompt box i want to create a different scene interior shot santa in a t-shirt and holding an orange 
water gun pointing it towards four teenagers sitting on a couch in front of him and the shot is taken from behind the couch facing center let's say scene is taken from behind the couch facing center inside the wooden cabin christmas vibes christmas vibes and i'm going to change the camera to a reflex 16 sr and the lens to panavision actually let's change the lens to ari signature prime for a change and leave the focal length as is i like the 14 focal length and press on generate and after a couple of seconds i get these nice image shots i like this one and i like this third one so i'm going to download the ones that i like and going back to the dashboard i'm going to switch to video remove the start frame and add a new prompt and the prompt says chaotic handheld shot santa pointing water gun to everyone while shouting and smiling you better be nice you better be nice as holiday lights blur partially christmas comedy energy and i'm going to choose the handheld camera movement and add the downloaded image one of the downloaded image as the start frame and press on the generate button and after a couple of minutes i get the results and this is the best result you better be nice you better be nice perfect scene nice. very cinematic and the movement of the camera looks very realistic and again santa is wearing my design all right let's wrap this up if you're still relying solely on static mockups for your product listings and social media you're leaving money on the table video content converts better that's just a fact and now with cinema studio there's literally no excuse not to have professional looking product videos so here's my bottom line as a print on demand seller for the price of one freelance product video you could create dozens of cinematic videos for your entire product line that's instagram reels tiktok content facebook ads website hero videos and all from one tool so if you want to try cinema studio for your own store all the links are in the description you can also check out some insane examples of what this tool can do including the first ai movie trailer which honestly will blow your mind link is in the description and here's my challenge to you take one of your best selling designs this week and create a cinematic video for it post it on on your socials track the engagement and come back and tell me if it made a difference so if this video helped you see a new way to market your products hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you catch my next tutorial keep designing keep creating and most importantly keep elevating your brand